God is never too far from the gridiron, and I don't mean the Hail Mary pass. It's not unusual to hear prayers in the locker room or professional athletes thanking God when they win. Well, on the eve of the big game, some current and former NFL players will raise their voices in praise in a Super Bowl gospel celebration. They're part of the NFL Players Choir. Here with us now are choir director and Grammy Award winner Myron Butler, former linebacker Brian Scott, who played with several teams, including the Atlanta Falcons and the Buffalo Bills, and Oric Johnson, former linebacker with the Patriots, Vikings, and New York Jets. Gentlemen, good to have you here. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Let me begin with you, Myron. You know, a lot of people, when I've told them I'm gonna be talking to you guys, they say, I didn't know the NFL had a choir. Yes. How did it come about? Uh, in 2008, uh, it was a desire to bring uh, guys together uh, that sing, that love to sing, uh, and just to really uh, foster a, a community uh, with a choir so that guys could express uh, their gifts uh, and their talents uh, in the choir. How did you know they liked to sing? <laughs> that was a good thing. That, you know, unbeknownst to, to a lot of people, there are guys that are in the NFL that really have a desire for music, you know, and, you know, whether they play or whether they sing or write music. So at that point, it's just, you know, amongst the camaraderie of the guys, you know, hey, this guy plays or this guy sings, and it kind of comes together yeah. like that. What about you guys? How, why, do you, why do you sing in the choir? Well, go ahead. Yeah, go, ahead. Brian, Brian, go, go right ahead. ahead. <laughs> well, so for me, I've always been passionate about music, but what the choir um, delivers, what it, what it is for me, is a time to come together um, as a unified front. And you hear so many negative reports always in the media about, you know, players doing wrong things, but there is a group of guys that, a huge group of guys actually, that's out there that um, we, we don't live perfectly, but we try to do the right thing. And it enables, it gives us that platform to be transparent and vulnerable um, and, and just fellowship all while, you know, partaking in one of our passions, which is music. And for me, it was that, you know, it was that wow moment, you know, um, uh, when I say that wow moment, I was one of those guys that Myron was just talking about. I always, my passion was first always music and hmm. then theater. Even and, when you were playing football? Oh yeah, it was always music, theater, and then football. And so, although, you know, you don't take it for granted, you, whatever opportunity God allows you to have, you go full force at it. But I knew what I wanted to do when the game was over. And I wanted to do it while I was playing the game I, um, too, but I always felt like the, the oddball. You know, when it, when uh, there was always there was always a chaplain on every team and every off day we they get a chance we get a chance to whoever wants to you go um, you do a prayer with him and I, it was like me and maybe one other guy on almost every team I played for yeah and so you know that was an opportunity yeah. to be around guys who fellowship. You used to Brian an interesting word you said it allows you to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. say, say more about that because with, in football you're not really allowed to be vulnerable. No, you're not. <laughs> well, see, so you know you're always you you'll, you always have to be on right the the camera is always on you, um, but. We all go, we're human and we go through things and, and it, it allows us that, that platform to talk about what's going on in our lives without having to worry about what is society or the outside world going to think because we're looked at as modern day gladiators, but we heard and feel just like everybody else does. So we can kind of let down our guard and share what's going yeah. on in our world away from the game. Myron, uh, what's the toughest part of recruiting guys? to play, to sing with you guys? Well, it's, it, it is helping those guys that have fear of going to that other place. They may have the ability, uh, but it's, you know, can I do it? Can I sing that song? Can I, you know, really execute this music? You know, helping them to overcome that. So a lot of times when I'm in rehearsal, you know, I'm, you know, cheering them on. I'm saying, hey, you can do it. You know, it's tough love, but, you know, a lot of times <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is helping them overcome that fear of, yeah. can I do this? You ever have to cut anybody? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You know Sometimes what? maybe not from the choir, but maybe from a solo if they're uh, not quite <laughs> just ready. Okay. Well, would you would you? But he's encouraging though. Very yeah. encouraging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He brings it out of you. Yes. This guy, he, he doesn't. You know, if he's gonna cut you, he's kind of really on the low low. Yeah. Right. Really know. That's a nice Tough way. To, it's a nice right. way to say it. Yeah. Tough love. Well, would you would you sing a little bit for us right now? Sure. <clears throat> um, Wherever I go. Whatever I do, you're in love with me. I'm in love with you. I'm a worshiper. I'm a worshiper. I'm a worshiper. Wherever I go, whatever I do, you're in love with me. I'm in love with you. I'm a worshiper, I'm a worshiper, I'm a worshiper. Cause 
They don't know that I'm a worshiper. And they don't know that we're in love with you. See, they don't know that we are worshipers. And they don't know that we're in, we're in love with you. All right, awesome. You guys are both linebackers, or you were. Uh, are there some positions that make better singers? <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be linebackers. I don't think it would be linebackers at all. <laughs> you know, who, surprisingly, I will say, I think it's O-line. Oh, it's o -line and I was about to say the same thing. O-line yeah. and D-linemen. Why? I don't know what it is, yeah, but they, it is they mo a lot of linemen I maybe know. Maybe because they don't get sing. a lot, they don't like, maybe they don't get a lot of, uh, you know, attention. Or yeah, something. I don't yeah, know what it is. is. Yeah, you know, I'll say you know, the offense and defense, especially offense and linemen, uh, every, it's a hard game for them. They, the, the only, only time they get recognized usually is when they make a mistake. It's something that goes wrong. So exactly. they're very tight in their, yeah, exactly. they're very yeah. tight in their grip and you know, a lot of yeah. them are really close to God. So maybe yeah. that's why. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Myron, in terms of the uh, difficulty getting these guys to, to perform, yeah. how much of it is sort of a stage fright kind of a thing versus like an image, like it doesn't go with the image of being an NFL player? Uh, you know, I think once the guys, uh, you know, have the desire and say, hey, this is something, you know, that I can do, but I like to do. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily about the image. I think it's about you know the ability to execute, the ability to remember the song, the ability to do it well. You know, because like you know, like we're talking about, they're so used to performing at a high level you know, on the football field. So you take that same expectation level, and it's placed on the music. So they don't want to just do it, you know, haphazard. And I'm not going to let them do it <laughs> haphazard. It's got to be great. Yeah. So it's just you know, can I execute this and it be great? I really think that's yeah. what it is. What about you guys? How's it different from performing on a football field uh this is i think it's more difficult because <laughs> i was a i feel like i was a football player before i was a singer and so it was just a little more natural to play football yeah. um but i still enjoy it i mean the you get nerves i always say before we go out on the show we get together we huddle up just like in the locker room mm -hmm. you know we say a prayer um we give our little chant then we run out onto the stage and it's almost like running out of the tunnel and the adrenaline's going and right. you know yeah. then yeah. you don't even think yeah. about it you just yeah. you just have fun yeah right. well guys thanks so much for coming in really thank appreciate you. it myron butler yes. director brian scott and uh, oj oric johnson. johnson thank you yes. all very much for coming <laughs> in good luck to you guys thank you so